We first told you about the arrest of Kyrie Tisdale yesterday. CBS 8's Brian White joins us live from Vista with more on Tisdale's first court appearance today. Brian, what did we learn? Well, prosecutors say charges filed against Mr. Tisdale involved two different victims, a male and a female, both underage students at Escondido High at the time of these alleged crimes. Enter pleas of not guilty and deny any and all allegations. Kyrie Kashif Tisdale pleading not guilty to 26 felony counts of unlawful sexual contact with two minors. You understand, sir? Yes. He was arrested Friday at Escondido High School as he and other teachers were getting their classrooms ready for the new school year. The same day, Escondido police served a search warrant at his home here at Riverwalk Apartments where they seized his computer. It's obviously incredibly important to protect the most vulnerable victims in our society, and that includes children. According to a statement from the Escondido Union School District Superintendent John Peterson, the 31-year-old math teacher who had been hired in 2019 has been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of the case. Tisdale's bail remains at a quarter million dollars. In the event he is released, Judge Francisco Sanchez issued a protective order. It requires that he have no contact with either victim, regardless of whether he's in custody or out of custody. He's not allowed within 100 yards of their home or their school or their workplace if they have one. No social media contacts, texting, direct messaging, nothing. According to the criminal complaint, these alleged crimes occurred between June 2022 and May 2023. Police believe there may be other victims out there. That's why Deputy District Attorney Peter Estes is urging anyone who may have been a victim to call Escondido Police. They are ready and willing to take your call, and we will have resources available for anyone who has suffered anything as a result of this or any other crime of a similar nature. I know it's a difficult thing for victims to come forward, but when they do, as you saw here today, it can be a very empowering thing to hold these people responsible. Kyrie Tisdale faces nearly 20 years in prison if convicted on all charges, and he's due back in court next week. Reporting live at the Vista Courthouse, Brian White, CBS 8.